Assalamu alaikum and very good morning to all of you. Hope you are safe and sound. Dear cadets of 43rd intake of Burishal Cadet College, at the very outset of my lecture, I would like to welcome you for being newly selected for Burishal Cadet College. You know, COVID-19 has made our daily life still. For this reason, your joining to Burishal Cadet College is being delayed but we cannot stop our regular activities and our college authority has to bring you under online class. I am Shottuji Dotto, associate professor in economics and housemaster of Swedish Soror the house have decided to take online class and expected that I will be with you for the next 40 minutes. So no more delay, let's have a look into our today's lesson and topic. First of all, I would like to thank you for the participation of my previous class and exam. Cadets, you do well. Today's my topic is Industry of Bangladesh, lesson two, chapter four. I hope you, you will enjoy the class and let's start the class with the cadets of new class seven. Learning outcomes at the end of this session, cadets will be able to explain the types of industries of Bangladesh, evaluate contribution of different industries, analyze the future of industries in the economy of Bangladesh. Key points are Adumji jute mills, garments factory, silk, ceramic industry, rice mill, plastic industry, and handloom industry. Bangladesh is an agricultural country, but its agriculture system is undeveloped and productivity is low. Unemployment is high due to rapid growth of population. Per capita income and standard of living is low. It is not possible to solve the economic problems and march towards development if the economy remains agro-based. Rapid industrialization along with ag agricultural development is the key to an overall development of the country. In fact, the developed countries of the modern world reached their present stage of development through rapid industrialization. All through Bangladesh is an agricultural country. Some industries of mills and factories started to flourish here from British rain. Jute, cotton, and textile industries were the main ones of them. Adumji jute mills, the largest of the jute mills of the world, was established in Narayan Ganj during the Pakistan period. During this period, this wing, known as East Pakistan, feel free to discriminate. Discriminatory. During this period, this wing, known as East Pakistan, feel free to discriminatory policies of West Pakistan rulers. After we became independent in 1971, new industries and mills and factories were being established in different parts of the country. One suit mill was the largest industrial sector of our country. Other industries like tea, sugar, cement, fertilizer, leather, rail and engineering industries were there. Presently, Bangladesh has achieved huge success with ready-made garments and pharmaceutical industries. The development process in industrialization in Bangladesh is very slow. Thus, it is necessary to announce a new policy for industrialization to increase the rate of development. National industrial policy was declared on this purpose in the year 2010. The aim of this policy is to increase the employment, participation of women in industrialization, and reduce poverty. To achieve these goals, the government has taken some steps like to reduce barriers on investment, to create tax-free investment, to encourage private investment, to ensure free flow capital, to increase foreign investment, to create 
markets abroad and establish labor incentive industries careers it is a very good news for you all these objectives are related with the objectives of vision 2020 a question may arise what is industry industry is the process where raw materials are used in factories to produce primary goods to intermediate goods and intermediate goods to final goods in bangladesh industries can be divided into various kinds relating to their capital production and numbers of workers etc now i am discussing about the large industry the industrial works in which a huge number of products are produced by a large number of labor capital and raw materials with the help of modern technology is called large industry according to the industrial policy of bangladesh the factory in which there are more than 230 laborers is called a large industry one jute textile fertilizer engineering and electricity etc are large industries of bangladesh these industries require huge capital skilled laborers engineers experts and experienced managers their capacity of production and contribution to our national economy is very high their products meet the demand of the local market and a portion of that produce is exported abroad they serve as the backbone of our economy look at the picture correct look at the picture of the large industry these are the main large industry of bangladesh these are also large interest industries of bangladesh correct you are know bangladesh has many large industries there are mentionable industries that to seen in this in this scale next medium industry the industry in which more than 20 but less than 230 laborers are engaged is called medium industry modern production technology is used but the organizing system is bit backward light engineering silk ceramic coal storage industries etc are the renowned medium industries of bangladesh the industries having capital more than 15 crore taka are known as medium industries these industries play a significant role in national economy by meeting the demand of the people of our country and employing a large number of people correct now show the some pictures of medium industry these are also medium industry of bangladesh next ispon industry according to the definition of bangladesh ispon and cottage industries the industries that have number of laborers between 10 to 20 is called ispon industries rice mill Small scale shoe factory, plastic industry, food processing industry, etc., are the included small industries. The industries having capital less than 1.5 crore taka are known as small industries. Here is looked at the picture. These are the main small industries in Bangladesh. Now. i am discussing about the cottage industry the industry which is directed in a cottage or a house or family basis with the help help of a small amount of capital usually available raw materials and machinery is called cottage industry the industry which is conducted with the less than 20 laborers is called cottage industry handloom industries earthen wares and wood works sari or sweet packets incense sticks etc of our some of the examples of such industries one advantage of this kind of industry is it creates opportunity of self reliance and employs a good number of people here see the picture of some 
cottage industries in our country. Now, I will discuss about the contribution of industry to the economy of Bangladesh. Ever expanding urbanization and increase in living standard has significantly increased the importance of industries all over the world. The same implies in Bangladesh too. Here one can easily find ample supply of skilled and unskilled laborers at a cheap wages. This interests the foreign entrepreneurs to invest and establish factories here. The adequate governments are one such example. Many foreign companies singularly or jointly with our local entrepreneurs have set up garments factories here. Foreigners are showing interest in other sectors too. The government has established some export processing zones, I mean EPZ, in order to attract foreign investment. Besides, the government is also working to increase the port and transportation facilities, upgrade gas and electricity supply systems, starting one-stop service, expansion of various industries in future. Recently, the expatriate Bangladesh are also showing their incentives to interest to invest in our industrial sectors. These are brightening of the possibility of Bangladesh to become an industrially rich, middle-income country it will not only lessen poverty and unemployment of the country, but also will raise the financial status of our people and strengthen our national economy. Fred looked at the table, sector-wise contribution of industries in GDP a percentage. Fred, firstly, I discussing about the GDP. In brief, GDP called gross domestic product. In Bangla, Mot Deshochut Padon Ba Mot Abhantut Padon. In economics, GNP, GDP, and GNI are different conceptions, but clear conception of very much easily GDP, GNP, and, and GNI are seems to same conception. There are four columns in this table, sectors, 2015-16 fiscal year, 2016-17 fiscal year, 2017-18 fiscal year. In this table shows the total contribution of industry in GDP, 2015-16 fiscal year was 11.69. In this account, small and cottage industry contribution was 9.06% and medium and large industries contribution was 12.26%. The fisc in fiscal year 2016 and 17, the total contribution of industry in GDP was 10.97%. In this account, small and cottage industry contribution was 9.82% and medium and large industry contribution was 11.20%. In 2017 18 fiscal year, the total contribution of industry in GDP was 13.18%. In this account, small and cottage industry contribution was 10.34% and medium and large industry contribution was 13.77%. In this table shows that our industrial development is not a, not a good way. And our industrial development is still undeveloped. In this session, Fedet looked at the skin sample question. You know 
there are two types of question in your public examination. One creative question, just like CQ, and multiple choice question, I mean MCQ. At first, I am discussing about the creative question. It is firstly, it is scenario or stem. Reading the stem and answer the following question. While visiting a ceramic industry in Narangals, Mr. Kamrud Jama felt like building an industry like that. He invested on all the elements and began to run the industry. It is called STEM. First of all, question number A, how many parts industries can be divided into? It is called knowledge level question. Its questions are depends on memorized only. One or two lines are to end up for this your answer. Number B. What do you understand by large industry? There are two parts: one knowledge and comprehension or understanding. What do you what do you understand this? concept and you cite an example that is your enough answer eight to ten lines are enough for this answer number c what kind of industry did mr kamuchima want to build explain it is called application application is a new pattern questions a very important things, STEM is very needed in this regard. Now, higher order question. How do industries like Amrujjavan play an important role in the economy of Bangladesh? Justify your argument. It is a, your concession, it is the higher ability question and it is your feelings, your analyzing, your Arguments are to are, are regards in this question. Now I am discussing about the simple question of multiple choice question, just like MCQ. There are four types of question is in your public examination: one knowledge level, understanding level, or comprehension level, application and higher order also. Thus are named multiple question and etc. I to discuss about this question. First, which industry does engineering belongs to? Option A, what is industry? Option B, medium industry. What's C, option C, large industry. Option D is one industry. It is called knowledge level question. Number two, is one industries include and complete sentence, Roman one, food processing, Roman two, plastic factories, number three, looms. Which one of the following is correct? Option one and two, option one and three, option two and three, and option one, two, and three. Any your choice, your answer. It is called situation set question. One scenario or stem is needed in this regard. Read the passage below and answer the question number three and four. The standard of question is application level and higher order level. Remember, remember it. Number three. Rahela and her mother-in-law make baskets, mats, and trash from hell. They run their family with the money her husband gets from selling them. Number three, which industry is indicated in the above stem? First option, pottery. B, cottage industry. C, jute industry. Lastly, leather industry. It is called application level question. Number four, the OS 
the industries contributing to economy are by Roman one creating employment Roman two keeping the national economy intact number three earning a lot of foreign currency which one of the following is correct option a one and two option b two and three option c two and three lastly option d one two and three remember it is called Get it? Look at your home tax. Answer the following questions. What is industry? Two, why large industry is called the backbone of Bangladesh economy? Explain. Number three, explain the importance of what is industry in Bangladesh. If you have any query, write in box. I will try to level best to answer your question. Okay, dear cadets, thank you for attending my online class. I hope you will try to follow the instruction that I have given you here. Now a very important point for you, dear cadets. You know we are now passing a very tough time due to COVID-19. Going outside has become very much risky for all. So never make any plan to go outside for any reason. Spend your time with your parents and other family members at your house. Never neglect your regular study. You should be punctual attending your online classes as well. Stay home and stay fine their careers. Thank you.